Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We have a very special guest on today's video. <laughs> He's gonna make his entrance now. Da -da 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 -da! So here's my dad Trev, and we are gonna be doing a very special video for today. What are we gonna be doing, do you wanna let everyone know? We're gonna make mushroom shallot butternut, butternut squash. squash pie. Pie. Right, so Ingredients you will need, Dad, make sure I'm saying this right, one butternut squash. Yes. That looks like Mr. Potato Head from Toy Story. Oh, God knows how we're going to cut that, but yes. I know. Anyway. Draw a face on it. Yeah. Butter, shallots, rosemary, I don't know the quantities of this, just roll puff pastry, garlic, chestnut mushrooms, porcini mushrooms, these yeah. ones. Dad, where'd you get them from? Anywhere. Thyme. Just, uh, Flour, plain flour, doesn't have to be organic. Shiitake mushrooms, these are the weird looking ones. And then, have I said that? Yeah, no vegetable stock. Vegetable stock cubes. And? One egg. Who, who ever thought about putting such a tiny cable on a kettle base? <laughs> like, how on earth are you supposed to plug that in? <laughs> it's like the only place you can get it in is like here. <laughs> You can't even like extend it, can you? No. Oh yeah, look. There's a lot more. Dad, you know what you're doing here. I haven't got a clue. I don't know what I'm doing. So we're gonna, where's the rest of this? Right. I could have just read the ingredients off of there already, couldn't I? Oh, we oh, read well. it because it's got measurements in there. Right, okay, we're gonna go again with the measurements and everything together. So. You right there? Yes, I'm just working out how to do this. Right, so, you will need... Need a bloody axe. That's the I'm going to take it out. You will need 25 grams dry porcini mushrooms, 600 grams of shallots. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> one tablespoon of olive oil, 100 grams of butter. God, is there enough flipping ingredients on it? One butternut squash. Right, Dad, you've got to peel, de-seed and dice I'm trying to peel it. Have you seen how thick the skin is on it? <laughs> Two garlic cloves. Finely chopped. <laughs> I'm just making it off. Two teaspoons of finely chopped rosemary. Two teaspoons of finely chopped sage. 250 grams of fresh mushrooms, such as portobello or chestnut. Have we got both of those? Just, um, no, I just got chestnut, I chose because the, um, the other ones. Oh, the portobello ones are them great big fat, flat ones. Uh, yeah, whatever it was, it didn't look very nice. I thought that looked, didn't look like mushroom. Right. And then 500 ml of vegetable stock, 50 grams of plain flour, 500 grams of puff pastry, we just get it already done because CBA, one egg beaten. Trev is just currently chopping up the butternut squash. It is so... Oh, do it that way. I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but I'm just... Um... Oh, yeah, That's look. it? Yeah. It's not really getting that far, that close to the thing though, I'll is say, it? I'll do another swish round. So, they so this is the technique we want to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like when you were doing it with a knife, you were losing I was quite a lot lose, of... You're right, I was losing too much of the... Too much of the ingredient there. Well, that's a bit it's hard, hard work, do. isn't I it? Think, I think you can, you can buy this um, like already like diced. Yeah. So oh, what was that? Rice crackers. <laughs> right, we're going to be here a while with this, so yeah, we're so going to, so yeah. We're gonna. End. <laughs> you just got a piece of it here. I took Right, so I'm gonna soak the dry mushrooms in water, the boiling water. 25 grams, that's not a lot. Thanks. I stink. They look like this. See that? That's what they look like. And how do these go then? They just go yeah, soft? Yeah, they go soft. I'm sure it would be a lot easier. 
to buy butternut squash that's already cut up. Looks so wrong. I know, I'm hopefully going to... Look, so I've just cut it in half and only the seeds are down this little bottom bit and I went you can use a spoon to get that spoon out. That, spoon, that spoon. Out. spoon that out, then it'll be good to go. Yeah, and then I'll just trim off some of the outside. Yeah. But I'm going to do this over the yeah, bin. Yeah, do it over the bin. I'm doing the mushrooms here, so I need 25 grams. Right, 20. Boom! Oh. There we go. Ooh. Water is in the mushrooms. Right, guys, I'm now going to chop the shallots up. Dad's chopping the butternut squash up into like bits that are like this big. They're too big, they go too hard. And, oh. Yeah, this is what we were talking about. So, basically, if you have the bits too big in the pie, they don't soften. So, small bits are key. Dad, am I doing both ends of this and then doing it? What am I doing with this? Um, I think I've done that both ends. The shallots are a real pain. A real pain. Because they're, they're, you might want a little knife when I finish with it. Because they take forever, because they're so sort of weeny compared to a proper onion. Look good now, sweet though, babe. I know. Oh, Prinny get... Prin wants to come in. Baby! Princess! She wants a bit of... Just the cat. So, like that. Yeah, perfect. I'm sure we did this in like chunks before, didn't we? Yes, we did, yeah. Or like in half. Or maybe. Because they're only. Oh, yeah, just half them. Just like half them like that, yeah. Right, so you want to halve the shallots so they're like that. Just in half. This looks like a bum hole. <laughs> it's because it's two together. Look. Oh, two for the price of one. How cute. You're doing a fantastic job. Do you want an itchy pitchy knife? Well, I'm... You know, you're flying through it. I'm doing all right. Oh, gosh, I'm just talking about some snap. They stink. It's a bit of a faffy dish. This wasn't really a good yeah. idea, was it? Yeah, it could be just uh. pizza. Pizza, <laughs> yeah. Guys, I'm wounded. I thought shallots aren't onions. I thought, why are they making my eyes water? <laughs> what? It's an onion. Why is it a sh Why is it called a shallot then? Because that's shallot. <laughs> I have no idea why they're called shallots. Baby, baby. Maybe onions, but they are onions. It's don't killing they? my eyes. Oh. Well, this it. is what we're looking like. Shallots. And then butternut squash, which took hours for Dad to prepare, are here. And then we have melted, how much did you say? So a third. So I've put about 30 grams of butter in there. And then what we're going to do is add the shallots. Cook them for <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm exposing all the shit that's in the kitchen. Oh, nice. Do you think we've got enough wheat to bake? <laughs> shallots are going to go in. We're going to soften the shallots and then for 10 minutes and then we put in the butternut squash in there for another 10 minutes. Should we have a sing song, Dad? Oh, it's meh meh. We should sing one of our favourite Christmas so songs. Down. What's our favourite Christmas song? Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero anno e felicidad. Oh, well done. I want to wish you a merry Christmas. I want to wish you a merry Christmas. I want to wish you a merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. You should get a job. I should be Michael Bublé's debut, whatever it is. Double act, that's the one. <laughs> right, I'm going to put the shallots in yeah. the... That's a triple one, that one. This is a triple one, it looks like a double bar. I'm going to put the shallots in to our substance. Oh. It is, it's like three. 
do do it. Just well. run all over me. Right, next stage. Another pot frying pan. Whack me with it in a minute. Where's the pepper and the icky wicky mouth got? Here. Here. Here, me. Here, me. I've just chopped up what ones are these? Chestnut ones. Yeah. And then these are the shiitake ones. Do I have to. Sh um, how much am I doing this? Halves? Uh, yeah, just um, chop them up. Let me see what it says in here. That's rank. Um, sliced. Did you like me waiting till you chop them? Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that, Dad. Right. Do you know what? This knife is so plump. I would be better off cutting it with a spoon. <laughs> it's really... It is not... That knife is about 100 years old, to be fair. Passing up the shiitake ones here. Nice. Look at that technique. Beautiful. That looks like one of the um, camel penises off of Ramsalem, doesn't it? Eat it. No. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This is what the chefs do in the old... Um, <laughs> When they're on, what's it? What's the Saturday good morning or whatever? Saturday morning kitchen. Kitchen. And Trev's perfected his technique. We've got an update. Trev's given us an update. Oh my. Yeah. This packet here of rosemary and packet of thyme, um, you don't need it all. You just need about two teaspoonfuls chopped. So we're picking the leaves off of the stalk. You want to do a bit of picking of a bit? Yeah, I can do a bit of picking. Oh, I love the smell of this. I know. It smells so good. Mm. So we're going to pick them off like that. Pick it off. Pick it off. Mick it in. Pick it in. Pick it off. Boom. How much of this do we need again? To what will equate? Oh, equates. Ooh, equations. No. Is that a different word. Yeah, that's like algebra. Oh. And then you're left with a stalk. Which you can in spin. Oh! Daisy. Go back and then you fold it over. Tia, do you want to say hello? <laughs> it's a cat. How can a cat? Princess! <laughs> there you go. Yes, hello. <laughs> How you doing, pretty friend? Alright, show us your arsehole. Fabulous. How are you doing? <laughs> Lots are looking softened, so now we're going to add in. This is going to be interesting with one hand. Do you want me to do it? Okay. No, I've got it. I've got it. I can do this. <laughs> Try and get some of it in there. Chop like, <laughs> like chef's chop. I know. I'm just sort of. Mm, mm, and they go. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like all done, but then they've got a knife that's probably sharper than my spoon. <laughs> This is the complicated part, guys, because this butternut squash and this bit and the bit that does got is hard to soften, isn't it? Yes. We've found before that this can take a while, can't it? Yes, it can. So basically, you just want it to be softened because see, once it's in the oven, it's going to cook for a little bit more. But the main cooking and softening is going on in there. So that is a really good point. It is going. Being sarcastic. No, no, no. I'm being serious. It does take. <laughs> it does take a long time. Have a sniff. Have a sniff of that one. Oh, that's nice. Fresh. Freshly picked from a garden near you. Asda. <laughs> yeah. Asda. It's going well. The prep is just taking an entirety. It's not the right word, is it? Yep, it's and the right it, word. Is it? Yeah, well done. I'm bad. <laughs> I love the way I literally get an award every time I get a word right. <laughs> <laughs> There's anything outside my usual vocabulary. <laughs> Entirety. Yeah, it's a good word. Love it. There we go. Hannah's word of the day. Um, but yeah, it's going good. It's just taking forever. But we're getting to the fun bit, so stay tuned. Stay, stay with us. Bear with us. Stay with us because yeah. it must be boring as hell right now. Garlic on flame. Yeah. So this bit here is the chopped rosemary and thyme. Yeah. And finely chopped. And that's the two cloves of 
uh, garlic. Bosh. Bosh. And that's cooked. So this is starting to go soft. Let's have a little look. Soft. Starting to soften. That's like, you what know we want. Got, you know when you've got potato, a knife with a potato in it, start, it goes through and comes out again. That's what we want. Nick it nice. in. Nice. Miss me. Oh. Yeah? It does smell unreal. We're now melting the butter in here and then we've got to add all of these mushrooms. We've got... So I'll turn that off. Yeah, we'll turn that off now because we don't want it to overcook. So we've got chestnut and... Porcini. Porcini. No, no shiitake? Put the blender. Oh, Can't I can't remember. Now. Whatever they are. As long as we said at the beginning. That we're Shall I put these in yet or not? Yeah, whack them bad boys in. Right, please go in. Boom. Shack it like a ding dong. Strain the porcini. Ooh. This is important. This Where is it. That, that this is going to make our um, sauce. And what do we call the sauce, Dad? A roux. <laughs> a roux. So We're I'm making the roux. I'm these over the top of that. Wow. So that I keep that liquid that looks like it's come out the bottom of a toilet. <laughs> So these are like soft now, aren't they? Yep. So when they're all hard, they're all nice and soft now. Yummy. Look at that. But we're going to keep that liquid. So this gonna... is the important part. You must retain the liquid. That's another good word, isn't it? Retain. You're on one. Spot. I know. Okay. Retain. What was the other one I said? Can't remember now. Entirety. Entirety. It's like you've swallowed a thesaurus, but I know a dinosaur's going to help us. Like, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you found that one funny, Dad? I do. <laughs> Had somebody say that before? It said, <laughs> "You need a thesaurus. How's a dinosaur going to help me?" <laughs> You're chuckling away to yourself. <laughs> I wish you were married. Remembers. I wanna wish you a merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. So, so. Next step. Would you say this is the hardest step? I'd say this is the hardest step of the whole bit. It, all the other stuff is prep, which is just labour intensive. This bit is the hard bit because it's all like everything coming together. Yeah. And this roux. Oh, never get that out. And the. <laughs> like a flop. <laughs> and the roux is quite. Complicated, I'd say. Mm -hmm. This is all of the mushrooms now. So we put the ones that we'd soaked in that boiling water in there as well. That's cooking in there. If you don't like mushrooms, you're probably not going to like this pie, by the way. <laughs> so you get all the way through it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like mushrooms, you're not going to like it. <laughs> but it is really scrummy. If you like mushrooms, I'd say this is, you would love this. Yeah, definitely. Because it's so good, isn't it? And it makes so much. So we're gonna yeah, so food. we're going to do, I'm not showing this actually, we're going to use, uh, get that off. Two and a hand at my back. Yeah, can you help? Thanks. Right, two of them. That's sat in the bottom of the squash. It's what? It's got a bit of bogey in the bottom of the It's sat in, it's sat in the squash. <laughs> so two of these, are they the same? Yeah. yeah. Two of these dishes. And I mean, when we've done this before, haven't we had one of these each, or not? I think we did. <laughs> I think we did. I think we did have but, a whole. Isn't this supposed to serve four people though? Yeah, but if you had half, I'll tell you what. If you had half of that, yeah, and like a potato with it or something like that. Yeah, that something on the side. Veg, veg. I reckon if you had half of that, half of the pie, veg, maybe some Yorkshire's. Well, look at no, I wouldn't have Yorkshire's. Yeah, but. Have some milk shoes or something with it. Yeah, some baked beans. <laughs> Stop it. Have some cheese. <laughs> yeah. Just fill it out a bit. But yeah, two of these is what we use. Or you can just use one How great big one. Doesn't say. No, I'm gonna go by. I always go by the size of my head. Size of your head. Massive. <laughs> Are you so, joking me? No, I'm joking to you about that. Um. But it's quite big, it's like the size of size of your head, kind of. Yeah, head size. <laughs> I don't know measurements. Or by like the size of my arm, you could do. Like, size of your forearm. 
hand. <laughs> you measuring it. <laughs> when I move my ring around it. Oh, it's four and a half iPads. <laughs> <laughs> How long's my bed? Well, three pounds. Three pounds. <laughs> it's the length of me. It's the length of me plus a hand. If you've been rolling around on the floor, wash your hands. Yeah, wash your hands. Yeah, wash your hands. Oh, is that pot? It's the same size as the lid. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a headache, I've been laughing so much. Anyway, back to what we were doing. <laughs> well, that's supposed oh. to be. What we were supposed to have done was started off with um, 100 grams of butter and then whack a bit in for the mushrooms and a bit in for the. and a bit in for that. So, but quite a lot of butter, really, isn't it? 100 grams. So, it's like half a. Half a thing. Oh, nearly half. Yeah, oh, I really. need to sit down. Right, am I stirring this butter? So now we're making the roux. This is the best bit. This is the best bit. So this is like the sauce for the pie, isn't it? Yeah. And it tastes insane. Because you've got so, all the. It's just, oh, sorry. Hang on. Bag. No. Right, butter. Then do we put all the flour in? Yeah. Right, all the flour right, in. Turn it down. Don't make it too hot. And it will become like a thick paste. That's looking good. Looking good. That's looking really good. Then add split, ooh, spill it. A bit of that. And this will get soaked up by it. Okay. Oops. Try and keep it in the yeah, This is one of those you really have to trust the process, don't you? Yeah. Because right now that looks rank. Daisy. I think what we're better off doing is yeah. instead of adding stock, because now it's getting bigger. Yeah. I'm gonna we're gonna add this stuff that we soaked the mushroom you know, the pachinga mushrooms in. Because that all gets mixed in together. Okay. But if I sometimes you don't need as much stock as they say, so if you Is this, is this gonna be runny? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So what this is going to be is like a kind of a thick, creamy, runny. Oops, no, it it's getting there. It's, this is you literally just have to just keep with it, don't you? Yeah, you keep it slow amounts. So it just keeps disappearing. So this is what we've got now, guys. This is looking good. The transformation. Yeah, yummy, yummy. So we've put in all. The, we've actually put in all of the. Remainder liquid from the mushrooms first, didn't we? Yeah, with remember the flour. it's cooked in the same pan that the the chestnut mushrooms. Are. So all the flavours are just coming, are just going to be in this sauce, which is this sauce is literally unreal, oh, it's isn't really, it? Really, really, really scrummy. It's very scrumptious, isn't it? Very scrumptious sauce. Look at that. Right, I am going to do the pastry. Also, woo, woo. outfit of the day, real quick. Oh yeah, that's so nice. Couture, huh? this is from Oh couture. yeah, Oh, where's the sun? Oh, I, I know. I know. Like I know. Right, come on, let's do an outfit of the day. This is Couture. Couture Club. My belly. <laughs> these are oh, from Supply and Demand, is yeah. that? Yeah. And these... They're very trendy. Are oh, from Tesco. Your lip lips. My lip lips. <laughs> right, that's Trev's outfit of the day. I can't get your 10% off. My outfit... <laughs> um, oh goodness, the lighting. My outfit of the day, guys, we've got Honor Active um, grey oversized zip up. Love. Leggings are Lasuli label. These are the new collection that are coming out next week, although when you watch this, they will already be out. So if this is in stock, I should pop the link in the description. Um, very nice. And then slippers. These are from White Company, and then we've just got some little ankle socks because my feet get frozen. Um, love these. Back to the pastry making, not making, rolling. We have got just roll, ready roll puff pastry sheet. Do we need all of this? I don't know, um, but I don't think it's got a huge shelf life, so I would, um, what's it say? 4th of December, so what we don't need is we're gonna chuck anyway. I need a bit of flour on the surface, don't I? I'm not going to use all that stock, by the way. 
Okay. Because there's enough in it. You've got if you add too much, it will go too thin. Yeah. We don't want there to be too. So you have to judge it, and this boils with sorry, I know you're doing the place just right. talking over the top of it. Um <laughs> but I'm just um adding it so it goes like so sort of it, oh, you, you can't, can't see. see. So it sort of peels you still can't see. If I tip but it up any further, it's gonna be over the floor. But you sort of put a spatula across it. Spatula, get that. Um, it could We're going to be... Cook, cook it for two minutes. Yeah. So it goes to this nice sauce, but you don't want it too runny. So if there we go. Too much, too much of the stock, it will become too runny. We've got flour on surface. I'm going to do all of this. Do it a bit. I love pastry. Penis head. <laughs> got right. all of this sauce. Yeah. Is now going into where all the, so I've got the mushrooms, the... It's going into the great big thing with everything else, The mushrooms, the, the butternut squash, the everything. It's just going in. Right, I've got my pastry here. This doesn't look like a lot. Oh no, don't we just normally just cut this in half, Dad? And just put, because that would be right, yes. wouldn't it? Yeah, that's what we've done. But yeah, I think, don't think it's supposed to roll it out. Doesn't it make it go... Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to roll it. Look, ready rolled. Yeah, and if you roll it, it doesn't puff up. I seem to remember I puff it up. <gasps> O-M-G, Ababek. This is... Does it look good? Just as I remember it. Really? <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait, let me finish this and then we'll come over. Oh, I'm making a right meal of this. Right, so cut in half. And this actually, that's going to fit perfectly both of them. I need to wash my hands, hang on. No, freeze where you are because that looks so, <laughs> so good. Right, Dad, you can unfreeze. Um, look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh that is... my god. That is yummy. That looks insane. It smells incredible. So, this is pretty much it. We are at the final point. Can't get excited. <laughs> excited, Dad. It's exciting. <laughs> I'm cooking some eating. Yeah, we always do. We always do like an excited dance when we need to get in there. <gasps> what have you got the egg for? Oh no! Don't what was the egg for? They have to beat it and whack it over the top. Uh, I don't oh, know. Yeah. Maybe. Do egg, egg over the top. Okay. Don't right. Like so we're oh. gonna put. <laughs> wow! It's rank, isn't it? One egg. Bit it. <laughs> also, I actually, I, Dad, in my last YouTube video that's going out today, at the time of this filming, <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> in that video, I was talking about how this whisk is so big. Look. It is. See what I mean? Like, I'm trying, but it's. What about if you do it this way? Alright, so it's still massive though, isn't it? It is a big whisk, but then it's a good whisk. That's it now, that's good. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all the all the stuff in the dishes. Now, right, here we go. So we're gonna evenly distribute Nice word. That's a good word. Into the into the bowls, into the oven proof dishes. There is loads. I didn't think we were gonna use I know. This, but well, it will fill it up though. I think you want it to be quite full. That looks unreal. Smells beautiful. Doesn't it? Mm. I'm going to do the pistis results. <laughs> right, Dad always laughs at me because I always say, right, pistis results. <laughs> <laughs> but no, right. I'll tell you one thing, <laughs> this is actually a word. It's not. It is. French, yeah. It's P.S. Like, double resistance. All that Second. one. Second. Pistis resistance. <laughs> I can't do it. What's that? <gasps> oh, God, I'm going myself on my face. Yes. Oh, we're bleeding. Right, okay, right. Let me have my, my <laughs> pistis, pistis resistance. Pistis, pistis resistance. Moment. Cut that nicely. What do you mean? Yeah, right, let's put it on. 
Right, quick, quick, quick. Oh, I'm just going to get paint flat on the bottom of it. <gasps> Should we do a fork around the edge? Or it's not going to be high up enough, is it? No. We need to probably go with the edge and then just snip it to them bits off. Yeah, otherwise they're going to burn. Uh, you've got the flappy thing. This is the genius um, utensil for putting on... What do they call when you do this? Put an egg on. No, there's a word for it. Don't Baste it? No. No. Putting it on. Don't know. Anyway, so we put this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is that the rest of the flower? So we're just literally brushing this on the top. God, I'm putting quite a lot of this on here, Dad. <laughs> Have you seen where the rest of the paste is gone? <laughs> Dad, this is quite like a swimming pool. Yeah, here. that's fine. It's enough like to baste it, but it doesn't mean make it like a lake. <laughs> like a lake. You can, you can wrap that in cling film or put one of those lids on it and you can freeze it. There you go. Meal prep, guys. Freeze it for how long? Do we know how many calories two, are on here? No, not the top of my head. I'll get back to that. Two, two months you can freeze that for and to cook it, defrost it in the fridge and then heat the oven to 200 degrees or 180 degrees fan. Guess what, sis? 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 Yeah. Glaze the pastry. Glaze. Glaze. That's the word you're looking. Glaze the pastry with a little egg. <laughs> or a lot of egg. <laughs> but right, let's get the, the pistis results. In it goes. <laughs> In it goes. Wow, and that's going to waft you with the air. What temperature is this again, Savory? Um, 200 normal, 180 fan, gas mark 6. Boom. Then we've got to do the other one. So now we just wait, don't yeah. we? Yeah, we wait while Daddy washes and wipes up. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> and that's it. But oh, can't see I anything. I did a lot of the cooking. I know, this is the issue with the lighting. We need curtains over there or something. See what I mean? <laughs> That's better here. Yeah, it's better so here. It's a bit nice. You've always got so, to bow down. Oh, that was nice. That was very right. lovely too. And it's so good. That one looks like it's got nipples. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, <clears throat> so stay tuned. Next time we come on, jeez, next time we come on, we're going to... We're gonna get the pies out. Get the pies out, get the, the pies, pies out, out, get the, the pies, pies out for the boys. Get, get the pies, pies out for the boys. boys. Quick update. I don't know if you can see in there. Yeah, you can. Oh my gosh, look at that one on the right. I puffed up. It's, it's puffing time. up. <gasps> oh! Excuse me. I'm going to chuff me as well. Oh! <gasps> Right, guys, so we've got it out the oven. <gasps> I just sliced it. Oh, it oh my God. That looks so good. <gasps> so, guys, we are going to end the video here. We are so impressed with these. They've come it's out really well. It's been so long since we've done this, so I'm actually so excited to eat this. I can't wait. Scrummy, scrummy. Um, so, if you enjoy the video, Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button Ooh. as well to see a few more videos. If we want to see a few more videos with Trev, we might make this into a series, Cooking with Trev. <laughs> and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And let us actually, let us know in the comments what other cooking videos you want to see. And maybe we can make this a regular occurrence. Have a look. Maybe we can. Yeah. Anyway, adios. Bye. <laughs> Right, we've got to be quick because we've only got 34 seconds left on the thing. We dreams. forgot to eat it. So quick, 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 go. Mm. <laughs> is it hot? Oh god. Oh my god. That is just how I remember it. Mm. Oh my goodness. I want a bit of that. That is outrageous. <laughs> that is a joke. Give me a bit of your pastry. Oh. Unreal. Right. We're going to go. See you Bye. later. Bye.